mean, what was your reaction to this? Because I remember, you know, this is a scholarship that's going to be helping out so many people, including yourself. Jordan Taylor from Toledo, Ohio. So how did you even react to that? Oh my goodness. So, I mean, first I would say like the application process was probably one of the like easier kind of like application processes. I don't know if that's like a, th a good thing or a bad thing, but I definitely was like, I'd been looking at the scholarship for about a year. I was like, oh my gosh, like my friend did it. She loved it. I ended up uh, volunteering for the WHCA prior to the event and prior to the scholarship. So I got to meet like Stephen Toma and all of the bigger people in the room. Uh, the press secretary came to that event. So it was really awesome to see them. And I was just like, I was like, yo, I have to get the scholarship. So no, I, I did everything I needed to do, made clips, did all of this, put the application together and got it. And once I got it, honestly, it was a good day. Like it was just a great day. I had actually, I'd actually been turned down from like three jobs that day. I got a lot of no's. I think I like failed a midterm. Oh my goodness. It was like really just bad. <laughs> but as soon as I got that notification, like, oh my gosh, you've been selected. Good job, guys. I'll see you at the White House Correspondents Dinner. Elated, elated. I was, I mean, it wasn't just about the money. It was really about the exposure, the opportunity, being in the room with so many different people from so many different networks that it was like super insane. Like just... No words. <laughs> I mean, I guess we have to talk more about that room because boy, were there some celebrities in the room as well as so many influential people. So did you get to meet any? Yeah. So, I mean, from start to finish, uh, before I even put on my makeup and dress, uh, literally ran into Roy Woods Jr. in the hallway right before the ceremony. He was like, oh my gosh, are you guys coming to see me? I was like, yes. I was, oh, oh my goodness. Like, it's so, I mean, being in DC in general, you see so many bigger people. I mean, I worked for Congresswoman Cori Bush before this. Like I've been in some spaces where it's hard not to be starstruck, especially as like a student coming from Toledo. Like we don't, it's not like Atlanta or New York or anything where like bigger stars just be there to be there. Like, right. Like, no, like this is a big room of individuals who have worked hard on TV every day, report, do the things that I love to do and get paid a lot of money for it. So yeah, no, just meeting so many different people. I mean, a lot of them were like brief, Hello, hi, my name is Jordan. Um, White House Correspondent Association Scholar, blah, blah, blah. Would love to get to know you. Maybe get your email for an internship um, and then take a picture and everything. But I got to meet like April Ryan, Gail King. I got to say hello to John Legend, Winnie Harlow. Um, those are like bigger like stars, but a lot of like the WHCA staff. So like Eugene and the like scholarship committee, all, everybody on the board. That was really awesome. Cause I mean, you got to remember all of these people work full time in the news for CBS, CNN, NPR, um, all of these bigger, I can't even like fathom all of the national, regional, regional, local level news stations. It was just, it was insane. And I got to introduce to so many different people. Cause I mean, 600 people, you, you can't do a bio on everybody, you know what I'm saying? So definitely just being introduced to so many executive producers, writers, world, like award-winning journalists. Like it was, it was insane. I, I can't even, can't even. Oh my and God. I know it's probably quite the comparison from going from just being a college journalism student to now going into that room. So let's talk a little bit about college life and what that's like and now having <laughs> had this opportunity. <laughs> Yeah. So, I mean, first I want to say like my Bison family here at Howard is so supportive. Like when I got the scholarship that day, I literally got like seven emails, 20 texts, a couple phone calls. Oh my God, Jordan, I'm so proud of you. Like, congratulations. And these are like some of my, like my coworkers I would consider like for, you know, Spotlight News Network and for the Hilltop, Cover to Cover Magazine, like all of these different publications that like I work for on campus, but also back home, like the Center Journal's Truth, the Baltimore Afro reached out, was like, oh, congratulations. Like, it was really cool. So, I mean, having that love and support definitely felt great, like great. Um, it really does make a difference, but like being here as like a college journalist, 
I mean, there are just so many parallels that you don't necessarily realize exist. And of course, you're not going to be at college forever. And I know many of us really wish to maybe relive our college days or stay in college. But what does the rest of the, you know, journalism world have to offer for you? What are you looking forward to doing once you graduate? Oh, boy, that's a question. <laughs> 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 I think. I think the funny part about that is that journalism is such a broad word for a lot of what goes on in this industry. For me, I am definitely looking into doing some more producing, some more, um, I'd say production work, definitely getting back to my roots and like broadcast and everything. I know recently I've been like heavy social media, heavy public relations, a little bit of journalism here and there in terms of like covering stories and following a beat, but I definitely want to assume a, a grand role in like producing and stuff like that. So what that looks like in terms of like networks and stuff, I'm not sure any type of employee, you know what I'm saying? Like we, we definitely got to hit the emails on Monday morning <laughs> to see what um, internship and like full-time opportunities are out there, especially now that we are on the national stage. Um, but yeah, no, definitely still the trajectory is upward from here, honestly. And you mentioned that P word producer. Boy, are there some openings out there. <laughs> so this is why we need to say right now to all the newsrooms watching right now, Look. put Jordan in your newsroom. <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely, absolutely. Look, I get the job done. <laughs> and she absolutely. got the scholarship too, which goes to say something about you for sure. Oh, absolutely. So no, thank you. I just, yeah, I'm still... I mean, we're only 24, not even 24 hours out from all of this happening. So I'm definitely still in my like dreamland, like, oh my gosh, did this really even happen? Like, I remember taking so many pictures, just thinking like, if, if I don't get the picture, I'm just gonna like mimic, like remind myself, like maybe this did happen. Maybe I was just dreaming, you know? Cause I had thought about the scholarship for so long and I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna be there. Like the first time I got to the press briefing room, I was like, I'm coming back. Like I will be here several times before and I did exactly that so I just yeah, yeah I'm nothing but grateful nothing but like astonished I'm still in a little bit of like an imposter syndrome kind of case where like ah, I still feel like there's so much more I could be doing there's so much I still need to do so yeah the hard work is done I'm definitely celebrating for a while for a minute yeah I'm gonna I'm, I'm suck it in a little bit but, As you should. Um, <laughs> but yeah no definitely the work is not done so definitely early on still too so. well Jordan I know you're big time big time right now so I appreciate you making time for little old me I appreciate it <laughs> oh my goodness no I look if only you knew how much I love 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 my Toledo it's like mm. <laughs> love Toledo down no facts. <laughs>